Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? Uh, today, it's not a review, but since we are getting extremely close to the, the Oscars, you know, the Academy Awards, we have uh, some things going on here. Uh, now, there's some uh, important things I need to bring to the table. The Oscars is a week away. It is next Sunday, a week today, and I'm very excited for that. Uh, so this video is going to be saying uh, what my predictions for some of the main categories of the Academy Awards are, and I'll be playing the uh, the video of the nominations, and I'll tell you what I think is gonna is gonna win those uh, those categories. That's my predictions, and also we have the predictions from a, a very loyal um, uh, viewer of mine. And he's one of my close friends, good friend of mine, and that is uh, my friend named Ryan Abbott. Uh, if you saw my uh, the, the Facebook page I have, you would notice that uh, he, he's on there a lot, and he comments, uh, and he's a very, uh, very loyal person, very good person. Uh, this is his uh, predictions of what is going to go on here at the Oscars and then when the Oscars are over we will compare and who had the most wins out of the predictions that were given so uh, these are mine these are my predictions and these ones are his so let's get straight on it with the first category for best performance by an actor in a supporting role the nominees are Christoph Waltz in Django Unchained. He's won before. Philip Seymour Hoffman in The Master. He has won before. Robert De Niro in Silver Linings Playbook. He's won before. Alan Arkin in Argo. He has won before. And Tommy Lee Jones in Lincoln. He's won before. Breath of fresh air. All right, so... Let's see. That was supporting actor. So my friend uh, Ryan Abbott, his prediction for the win of this category is, if I could find the paper, which is right here. He chose Christoph Waltz to win uh, best supporting actor. That that was his uh, that was his prediction. And my prediction for Best Supporting Actor is Tommy Lee Jones in Lincoln. So, the, the Christoph Waltz, did I say the master? Christoph Waltz in uh, Django Unchained, I should say, if I said the master. Uh, so, so, there is his prediction and my prediction for Best Supporting Actor. A category. The nominees are Before My Time from Chasing Ice, music and lyric by J. Ralph. Pie's Lullaby from Life of Pie, music by Michael Dana, lyric by Bombay Jayashri. Suddenly from Les Miserables, music by Claude Michel Schoenberg, lyric by Herbert Kretschmer and Elaine Bublu. Everybody Needs a Best Friend from Ted, music by Walter Murphy, <laughs> lyric by Seth MacFarlane. And Skyfall from Skyfall. Music and lyric by Adele Adkins and Paul Epworth. Uh, that's kind of cool. I got nominated. So me and my friend for Best Original Song, we have both chosen Skyfall for that. So if we win, we each get you know the point. If we if we both lose and Skyfall doesn't win, then we um, don't get a point. Sorry about that there. Ladies and gentlemen, I just had to take care of something real quick. Um, Alright. Okay, next category. Oh, How about that? I, kind of I, 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 get, I get to go to the Oscars. Yeah! Now. You know, the, uh, the MTV Awards once gave Michael Jackson a Lifetime Achievement Award just so he'd show up. Sally Field, influenced by an actress in a supporting role, are 
Sally Field in Lincoln, Anne Hathaway in Les Miserables, Jackie Weaver in Silver Linings Playbook, Helen Hunt in The Sessions, and Amy Adams in The Master. Congratulations, you five ladies no longer have to pretend to be attracted to Harvey Weinstein. Alright, so for that category, my friend Ryan chose Anne Hathaway. Oh, not surprising. He chose Anne Hathaway for Les Miserables. That's crazy. Yeah, I choose Anne Hathaway as well. So, actually, no. I choose Sally Field. I'm, I'm picking Sally Field, so it's not equal again. So, if Sally Field gets it, then I get a point. If Anne Hathaway gets a, uh, he gets a point. If nobody, well, somebody's going to get it, but if those two women don't get it, and one of the others gets it, then uh, no points will be dis uh, dispensed at that time. <laughs> animated feature film. The nominees are Frank and Winnie, Tim Burton. The Pirates, Band of Misfits, Peter Lord. Wreck-It Ralph, Rich Moore. Paranorman, Sam Fell and Chris Butler. And Brave, Mark Andrews and Brenda Chapman. For best. Alright, so for that one I chose Wreck-It Ralph to win and my buddy Ryan chose Brave to win so if Brave wins obviously he gets point and if Rekka Ralph wins I get point. Alright here we go let's uh, see the next category. Foreign language film the nominees are from Austria Amour from Chile No from Canada War Witch from Denmark A Royal Affair and from Norway Kontiki um, I read. I read. Amour was co-produced uh, by in Austria and Germany, right? The last time Austria and Germany. So my buddy chose no from that one. He want. He chose no to win, and I think yes, I did. I chose Amour to win best uh, foreign language film. For adapted screenplay, we have. Lucy Alibar and Ben Zeitlin for Beasts of the Southern Wild. Chris Terrio for Argo. Tony Kushner for Lincoln. David O. Russell for Silver Linings Playbook. And David McGee for Life of Pi. These are adapted screenplays, keep in mind. So that means the writers just basically copied stuff from Microsoft Word <laughs> and, and pasted it into Final Draft. So that's <laughs> All right, let's see. So my friend for that category chose David O. Russell for Silver Linings Playbook. And I chose, this is adapted screenplay. So, wherever it is. I chose Chris Terrio for Argo. For Best Original Screenplay, the nominees are John Gatons for Flight, Mark Bowl for Zero Dark Thirty, Quentin Tarantino for Django Unchained, Michael Haneke for Amour, and Wes Anderson and Roman Coppola for Moonrise Kingdom. For Best Alright, so I chose... I chose uh, Wes Anderson and Roman Coppola for Moonrise Kingdom, and my buddy chose Quentin Tarantino for Django Unchained. Achievement in directing. The nominees are David O. Russell for Silver Linings Playbook, Ang Lee for Life of Pi, Steven Spielberg for Lincoln, Michael Haneke for Amour, and Ben Zeitlin for Beasts of the Southern Wild. Okay, so for directing, I chose Steven Spielberg for Lincoln, and Ryan chose the heck is it? Steven Spielberg for Lincoln as well. These are five people who are the very best at sitting in a chair watching other people make a movie. The nominees. 
nominees for Best Performance by an Actor in a Leading Role are Daniel Day-Lewis in Lincoln, Denzel Washington in Flight, Hugh Jackman in Les Miserables, Bradley Cooper in Silver Linings Playbook, and Joaquin Phoenix in The Master. This is just a, a Me and my friend both chose uh, the, uh, Daniel Day-Lewis for Lincoln. <laughs> For best performance by an actress in a leading role, the nominees are Naomi Watts in The Impossible, Jessica Chastain in Zero Dark Thirty, Jennifer Lawrence in Silver Linings Playbook, Emmanuel Riva in Amour, A. Wallace in The Beasts of the Southern Wild. At 85. All right, so I chose. Jessica Chastain for Zero Dark Thirty, and he chose Jessica, no, Jennifer Lawrence for Silver Linings Playbook. We are pleased to announce that the film selected as the Best Picture nominees for 2012 are Beasts of the Southern Wild, Dan Janvey, Josh Penn, and Michael Gottwald, producers. Silver Linings Playbook, Donna Gelati, Bruce Cohen, and Jonathan Gordon, producers. Zero Dark Thirty, Mark Bull, Catherine Bigelow, and Megan Ellison, producers. Lincoln, Steven Spielberg, and Kathleen Kennedy, producers. Les Miserables, Tim Bevan, Eric Fellner, Deborah Hayward, and Cameron McIntosh, producers. Life of Pi, Gil Netter, Ang Lee, and David Woolmark, producers. Amour, nominees to be determined. Django Unchained, Stacey Sher, Reginald Hudlin, and Pilar Savone, producers. And Argo, Grant Heslog, Ben Affleck, and George Clooney, producers. Argo has been nominated. Somebody tell Cranston he can unclench his teeth now. Okay, so for the best picture, me and my friend, we both chose Lincoln uh, for best picture. Let's let's hope Lincoln comes out with the win. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's basically uh, it until Oscar Sunday. I've got the papers right here. It seems like seems like a lot of papers, but. Uh, this is this is every single nomination and category and everything. So, but out of those categories, that's what we will go off of. So, thank you for watching this uh, video, and I'm gonna post the link to my friend uh, Ryan Abbott's website. He has a website. It's a movie website. It's a TV website. It's basically uh, it's a whole bunch of stuff on there. So I'm gonna post the link to that website in this uh, video so hope you check that out ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching this uh, video of our Oscar predictions over and out